Hey, I'm Dan Seifert. I'm here at Las Vegas CES 2016. I'm here in our booth on the show floor. And across from me, I've got Eric Mijakowski. You may now know him as the CEO of Pebble. Uh, he's still the CEO. He's one of the co-founders. He's been making Pebble for how many years now? Eight years. Eight years. Yeah. Eight years of Pebble and wearables. And even before Pebble, Eric was building wearables. So we're going to talk about wearables. And uh, Let's do it. Yeah, have some fun. Awesome. So we're here at CES. You're kind of just here palling around, having some fun. That's exactly you what see anything, CES is. You see anything fun here? Drones. A lot of drones. Yeah. I really like this drone that had like uh, styrofoam on the outside so it doesn't cut people. Oh, that's that nice. Cool. That's considerate. Yeah, yeah, I appreciate that. Yeah, yeah, cool. Yeah, there's like drones, there's cars everywhere and stuff like that, but there's also a ton of wearables and like everybody's putting wearables on like their product lineups and everybody's getting into it. But you know, you guys have been doing it for a long time. And I want to talk about last year, specifically 2015 was was crazy busy for you guys um you correct me if i'm wrong you launched four products three new watches three new watches yeah and then you a whole bunch of software new software platform yeah new software interface you just in december launched uh, an initiative with health and tracking and you really kind of changed the way the pebble uh talk, uh does fitness tracking. can you talk to me about that so our, our, um, our approach is, you know, from the hardware perspective, we launched three new watches. We've got a broad offering now all the way from $99 up to $250, um, a bunch of different options. But for us, like, again, and I reiterate this pretty much every time I, I talk to you, it's like, it's about software. No. Because these things are tiny computers that are on our bodies. We, we put them on for a, couple, or for a variety of different reasons, you know, fitness tracking, uh, sleep tracking, notifications, music control. Those are the, like, the simple, the, the base use cases. But over time, it's growing, it's doing more. You know, we've seen a lot of people, uh, groups start using Pebble as, um, as, as a means of collecting data for, medi uh, for medical studies and for research, research projects, um, as well as seeing like, the benefits of what happens when you have an open platform. Um, so we're combining that together, I think, with, with Pebble Health. Okay. So speaking of, you're wearing the Pebble Time Round. Yes. Now this one is kind of like a, a departure from your earlier designs in a number of ways. It's right? really different than like the original Pebble, which uh, I think you've seen a lot. It's like, that's the sporty, that's the, that's the runner's watch. And this is, yeah, pretty, uh, pretty different. Yeah. And so, you, you know, it's round. It is round. <laughs> Obviously. It's got a little bit lower battery life, but it's a lot slimmer and thinner. Kind of just a different appeal and aesthetic we've seen a completely you know a completely different take on uh on people looking at pebble like when they looked at us with the original pebble it was mainly um the the crowd of runners and people who are a little bit uh, more into fitness and um it's colorful there's a lot of color options mm -hmm. so it brings in a kind of younger crowd pebble time steel you know offers that a little bit more style um, but pebble time round has just for people that never considered a smartwatch before it catches their eye as not a smartwatch but as something that they might want to actually you know wear yeah now one of the things that you, you're talking about being a small company is that you had this this idea um, when the time launched of these uh, smart bands that kind of like snap yeah. in and, and other companies would make them. We haven't seen a whole lot of Oh, there's a bunch at, uh, at CES actually. Um, yeah. There's Aria Health, which okay. is a, uh, a sensor, um, a gesture sensor smart strap. Okay. Um, they launched on Kickstarter about six months ago. They're actually going to be shipping in two or three months. Um, you can control Pebble using gestures on your finger. So it's wow. even more hands-free than it was before. Um, there's FitPay, which uh, announced, launched about a month and a half ago. It's a payment smart strap for Pebble. They've integrated with MasterCard and Visa networks. Um, they've added an NFC, uh, NFC chip onto your onto the strap, um, which means you can pay with your Pebble. That's coming out in a couple months. They also did something cool. I think a lot of people are going to buy the FitPay not just for the payments, but also yeah. because they did something completely logical that we haven't done, which is add a USB port onto the back uh, of the strap so that yeah. you don't have to carry around a cable. It was cool. I mean, but that's kind of the power of what we've what we've done. We've created this open platform that other people can build mm -hmm. on top of. From a software perspective, we launched that. Yeah, we launched that like three three years ago, yeah. the SDK. And now, you know, with the hardware, uh, it takes it takes a little bit longer because of the lead times of building hardware. But it's 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 starting. It's pretty right. cool. What what's next for twenty sixteen for wearables? And then what what do you think is next for for Pebble? So we see a massive opportunity right now, kind of in the convergence of the activity tracker space, the the, the fitness health tracker space, and more of a multi purpose um, smart 
smart device. Mm -hmm. um, this is our bread and butter. We've been working on this for, as I said, eight years. Um, we see the biggest opportunity for Pebble kind of in that, you know, Apple Watch is here. There's no doubt about it that Apple has created, you know, a great product, a strong product. It's, um, you know, they've sold millions and expanded the, the entire market for smartwatches, yeah. which has helped us out. Um, we don't see ourselves as uh, necessarily the, you know, side by side, 100% competitors, you know, in that higher end, $300, $400 space. We're very focused right now on the $99 to $200 space. That's our bread and butter. We think that because of the choices that we've made on the technical architecture of the product, we can provide a much better product, a much more fully featured product that has just different capabilities like the battery life, the water resistance, the always on screen. Thank you for taking the time to talk to us. Thanks, it's always a blast. Uh, for more on Pebble and everything here at CES, uh, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, again, I'm Dan Seifert. It's Pebble CEO Eric Mijakowski, and uh, we'll talk to you guys later. Thanks.